This quick start guide is designed for those users that would like to quickly and easily get the T3i operational and take basic readings without the need to record any job history. Before we begin though, we will check that you have all the necessary components. As well as this DVD, you should have received in your Termitrack T3i suite the following items. A specially designed carry case, the T3i device, 10 rechargeable AA batteries, T3i 10 cell battery charger with a 12 volt and mains voltage adapters, high quality PDA in leather case, PDA user CD, PDA user manual, PDA USB cable, PDA charger cable and adapter, T3i user manual, we will now take you through the quick start guide to ensure quick and easy operation. Before we can power up the unit, we need to insert fully charged batteries into the T3i device. Take care to orientate the batteries correctly to the marked plus and minus signs on the battery bed in the battery compartment. Partially charged batteries may be used, however the operational time may be severely reduced. The power LED will light up yellow momentarily and then go out. This indicates the device is operating correctly. If the power LED does not go out or if other LEDs are turned on, this may indicate an error. If this occurs, make sure the batteries are fully charged and that they are inserted correctly. If the unit does not respond, contact your nearest Termotrack calibration centre. Press the power button to start the T3i device. The power LED will light up green, indicating it is in a ready state. The device is now ready to connect to your PDA using Bluetooth. Power up your charged PDA to start T3i operate program on the PDA. Select Start at the top of the PDA screen. From the Programs menu, scroll down and select T3i Operate. After the initial splash screen is shown, the PDA will operate the T3i Operate Home screen. Select the Connect icon to establish the connection between the PDA and the T3i device. Once a connection has been established, the power LED on the T3i device will change from green to blue. The T3i operate program will also indicate a connection to the T3i device has been made. Should a connection not be established, try again. Should the Bluetooth fail to connect again, view the troubleshooting section of this DVD. Now that your device is powered on and connected, we can start to take a few readings. The main screen of the T3i operate program will indicate the two main modes of use being job mode or quick view. Job mode is a great tool for recording the data that you collect from certain job sites and need to revise or compare that data at a later stage. We will discuss this mode in more detail later in the DVD. Quick view mode is designed for a quick inspection where recording data is not a necessary element of the job. We will investigate this option first. To start the T3i sensors, select the quick view button. This mode of operation will allow the three modes to be operational but will not allow the recording of any activity discovered. In quick view mode, select either the radar, thermal, all moisture buttons on the PDA to activate and operate a sensor. Alternatively, this can be done by using the mode button on the T3i device. Press the mode button to select the tool you want to use. To ensure you have selected the correct mode and sensor, the active scanning sensor will be indicated by the appropriate screen display on the PDA. The following LED color on the T3i device is associated with the appropriate sensor. The radar is active when the radar LED is green. 
The temperature sensor is active when the temperature LED is red. And the moisture sensor is active when the moisture LED is blue. If this is your first time using this device, it is advised to continue watching the DVD to ensure you can correctly operate and understand the readings that the T3i display. To stop the current scanning operation and switch between the modes, click the OK button in the top right hand corner of any scanning screen on the PDA. From the main menu screen, you can select a new mode or continue to shut down the device. To shut down the device, select the disconnect icon. The PDA icon will change to indicate that there is no longer a connection with the T3i device. The T3i power LED will change back from blue to green. Press the T3i power button to turn the T3i device off. Select the OK button in the top right hand corner of the PDA screen or select the close button to shut down the T3i operate program. A confirmation dialog box will be presented. Select the OK button to close the T3i operate application completely. You are then able to power down your PDA. We will now move to a more in-depth description and operation of the T3i and PDA to ensure that you fully understand these devices and can make the best use of their unique features. The T3i unit is designed with ease and functionality in mind. The three buttons on the T3i each have simple functions. The power button needs to be pressed only once to get the unit to power on or off. The mode button changes the mode of operation of the Termotrack device provided the T3i device is connected to a PDA and T3i operate is running. Pressing and releasing the mode button once will change the mode. The sequence starts off in the idle mode and moves to the next mode when the mode button is pressed. This will be verified by the LED colour associated with the next mode coming on. Each mode can be selected in turn by pressing and releasing the mode button. When the last mode is reached, the device will revert back to the idle mode where no sensor is active. The mode can alternatively be selected through the PDA. If a job is not currently active, pressing the mode button will start a quick view. The snapshot button is only active if all of the following conditions are met. The PDA is connected to the T3i device. The T3i operate program is running. A job is active and a scan is being performed. The snapshot button will cause the previous 10 seconds of activity to be stored on the PDA. This button will act in the same manner as the save log button in the T3i operate program. Once a graph representation has been stored, it can be viewed at a later date or downloaded to a PC. The four LEDs in the T3i device are capable of displaying a range of colours. Different colours and patterns are used to indicate that certain actions are underway or a particular event has occurred. The power LED is used to indicate the state of the device and whether it has Bluetooth connection to the PDA or not. No LED indicates that the unit is off. A white colour indicates that the device is powering up and performing self-diagnostics. A green colour indicates that the device is on and awaiting connection from the PDA. A blue colour indicates that the device is connected to the PDA via Bluetooth and is ready for operation. The radar LED is used to indicate the status of the radar detector. If the LED is off, the radar is inactive. If it shows green, the radar is active and scanning. The temperature sensor LED is used to indicate the status of the temperature sensor. If the LED is off, the temperature sensor is inactive. If it shows red, the temperature sensor is active. The moisture sensor LED is used to indicate the status of the moisture sensor. If the LED is off, 
the moisture sensor is inactive. If it shows blue, the moisture sensor is active. If any LED pattern is displayed which is not described in the tutorial, please shut the devices down. Turn the devices on and repeat the startup procedure. If there is an LED pattern that is not described here, please contact your nearest Turner Track Calibration Centre.